Assalamu alaikum and hello. I'm Saidur Rahman, professor and head of the Research Center for Nanomaterials and Energy Technology at the School of Science and Technology, Sano University. I have 23 years of academic and research experience locally and internationally. I am working in the area of different types of nanomaterials such as magazine, graphene, CNTs, their hybridizations, their compositions, and their applications, particularly in solar, renewable energy areas. Nanomaterials are unique due to its nano size dimensions and their outstanding behavior, characteristics, performance in energy storage, energy efficiency, heat transfer, and thermal area. At Sano University, with the support from Zephysia Foundation, we built an impressive lab with the state-of-art lab equipment by spending almost 5 million Malaysian ringgit, which is equivalent to 1.5 million US dollar. MIT Chancellor visited our lab and he was highly impressed with the state-of-art lab facilities that we built here to test, verify, check the behavior of the different types of nanomaterials. There are other visitors from Harvard and locally and internationally visitors also came and visited our lab and they are also highly impressed with the facilities that we built it here. Magazine is derived from max phases. Max phases are produced using a sintering machine or two furnace. Once these max phases are produced, then this is made into a powder form. And then this powder is used to make a chemical reactions in this fume hood with certain degree of temperature and speed to develop a chemical reaction that basically will help to eliminate one layer of max phases. As a result, we got the raw magazine and then subsequently it is sonicated, it is purified using centrifuges and other processes and finally also it is checked using SEM, XRD, EDX, its purity, its properties and so on. Magazine is an emerging two-dimensional layered materials that need to be derived from max phases. Max phases are developed or derived, synthesized using its precursor materials such as titanium, aluminium, carbide. These materials are mixed and then put into a combustion boat inside the tube furnace for sintering purpose to sinter it up to 1400 degrees centigrade to make a brick shape max phase. Then this max phase powders are crushed, mortar and pestle, made into a powder before going through chemical reactions, finally to produce magazine. Energy performance, energy storage performance of magazine and other types of nanomaterials can be checked, verified by using our indoor solar simulator as you can see here. Thermal reliability, thermal cyclic behavior of different types of nanomaterials and their applications can be checked, verified by thermal cycler. In our lab, we have both low temperature and high temperature thermal cycler as you can see here. This is sensitive area section of our lab that can maintain specific temperature and humidity to maintain the health condition of our high-end equipment as you can see here. We have here high temperature, high-end equipment such as DSC, TGA, FTIR, Zeta Sizer, UVBs, and SEM. These are the high-end equipments used to characterize, to check and verify the material's behavior characteristics along with energy storage behavior, energy performance behavior, energy absorption behavior using DSC, TGA, and UVBs. As research is very challenging task, 
I would like to suggest young researcher to be steadfast, never give up, to be a good researcher. I also suggest them to follow some good model, good researcher, good paper, to be a good researcher. Along with uh, academic contribution, I would suggest also to keep their activities balanced. They should focus on teaching, research, publication, contribution to the societies, product development, policy development, and developing some patent.